When people say, maybe you should try tracking your food for a while, do you feel overwhelmed and confused because you have no idea what that means? Or do you feel like you don't have the faintest idea where to start when it comes to trying to get a certain amount of macros on your carnivore diet? If so, I got you. Hi, I'm Jen, and if you're new here, I'm delighted to meet you. Today, I'm gonna give you a quick little lesson on what it means to track your food retroactively, meaning you eat whatever you eat, but you track it so you have some objective data to look at later to see what you might need to be able to tweak and I'm gonna show you how to track trying to get a certain amount of macros, specifically 80% fat and 20% protein in a day. For this tracking lesson, we're gonna use Carb Manager because it's free, it's easy to use, and it's the most intuitive as far as a tracking for macros, like fat and protein percentages. This first example of tracking is for a person who isn't trying to achieve any particular goal. They're not trying to get a certain number of macros or number of protein grams or anything like that. It's just, hey, I want to know more information about what I'm eating, so I'm going to track what I'm eating for the day just to get some objective data. I'll start by clicking this Add Breakfast button there, and then I ate four eggs for breakfast, so I'm going to type in the search bar eggs, choose from the options, and then you can see this moving numeral section here. I'm going to choose four, and then click Add. Now I'm gonna go back into this search bar, but get rid of eggs. And you can see from the drop down menu, I already had this particular bacon that I use. And I'm gonna put in three slices of that particular bacon. You can put custom store-bought foods in there by clicking the scan button at the top. It'll pull open a camera. I'm out on, on a walk with my dog, so I can't show you how you'd scan the UPC code, but that's what you do. Close out of this breakfast window, and then you can look at your day's worth of food. Now you'll actually want to choose this add to log for each of the foods, and it will officially add it. Scroll up, and you can see this pie chart, which shows you what percentage of calories you're getting from fat and protein. If it's not showing you the numbers, just tap the chart, and it will show the numbers. Now we're going to scroll down to lunch and hit add lunch. I'm going to add ground beef 8515. Let's choose this one, and then we'll go in and set the amount. It's using a weird measurement of a very small patty. I'm gonna change it to ounces and choose eight for half a pound. You'll wanna make sure and hit lunch so it goes on the right meal. And then you'll just click add. Now we'll close out of this lunch menu and then add the hamburger to your log. Then you can scroll up and look at your updated macros for the whole day if you like to. For future reference, you can also look at the macros for this particular meal by choosing meal details from this list, and you can see the percentage of fat and protein and the number of fat and protein grams just for this meal. Now we'll scroll down and add dinner. I'm choosing beef ribeye steak, 12 ounces as well as two ounces of fat trimmings. You can see it says custom because I put that in myself by getting all the nutrient info from Google. Just like before, you'll add those foods to your log and then you can scroll up and see all your data for the day. You can see here that this day was 68% fat, 32% protein, and it was 191 grams of protein, 180 grams of fat and the total calories were 2430. Some ways that you might use that information, it could be many things. One, maybe you are trying to heal your immune system and you think, okay, I've been hearing all this stuff about the 80-20 method, I wanna do that for my immune system or for weight loss or whatever the thing. Well, now you know that on a day like today, you're eating less than 70% of fat and 30 whatever grams of protein. And so you can then adjust to get more fat going forward. Or let's say you want to try to get a certain amount of protein grams per day. Let's say it's 250, that's a lot, but let's pretend that's what it was. Well, today you only got 190, so you'd know you need to prioritize 60 more grams of protein in the future. Or you could look and say, okay, I got this many calories. This is more or less than I wanna be getting. And so you can adjust from there. This next example is gonna be if you're trying to get 80% of your calories from fat. I'm gonna choose four eggs, two egg yolks, and two tablespoons of butter. Then I'll close out of this breakfast window and look at what my macros are so far for the morning after I add each of these foods to my log. And I can see that I'm at 78% fat. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, I'll also have a cup of coffee and a tablespoon of heavy cream 
in addition to the eggs and butter. The add breakfast tab that we used before is not there anymore. So I'm gonna hit the plus, then I'm gonna choose add food, and then I will add it that way. We'll close out of this breakfast window again. And now you can see your updated macros for the day and you are at, as soon as you add it to your log, you're at 80%. Now we will go in and add lunch. I'm gonna add beef again for lunch. And I wanna point out, this is easiest if you sort of have an idea of what you're gonna eat for the day and you make this at the beginning of the day. That way, if you're having trouble fitting things in just right, you can go back and adjust. Let's say you may have to change something from lunch that you didn't realize until you were tracking your dinner. Because I want this day to be higher fat, I'm also gonna add in some butter to go with my burger patties. add each food to the log, and then you can look at this particular meal by going to meal details and see what the macros are just for your lunch. 71% fat, 29% protein. So I decide for now, I'm just gonna leave that and see if I can get my dinner to be higher fat to make up for the difference. Because you see now, I'm only at 75% fat for the whole day. Now let's add dinner. I'm gonna choose ribeye but knowing I'm trying to get more fat, I'm gonna go fewer ounces of ribeye today than I did yesterday. And I'm gonna add some fat trimmings. Add each of those foods to your log. And then you can scroll up and see you're at 76% fat for the day. So we're still a little bit under that 80%. Now I wanna see how I can tweak things to change it a little bit. So here I decided I'm gonna have some scrambled egg yolks cooked in butter to see if that will push me over the edge and give me enough fat. It didn't do it quite do it though. I'm still at 78% fat. So I've got to figure out how I want to tweak. And I'm going to start by decreasing the ribeye from eight ounces to six. That helped, but I'm not quite there. So if you want to get right at 80%, then here's where you can go back and look at other meals and change things a little bit. So in looking at everything I have here, I decide that the thing I want to change is actually the amount of ground beef I'm eating with lunch. I changed that from six ounces to four. And now when I scroll up, I'm right at 80% for my fat. You can see I'm at 113 grams of protein, 212 grams of fat, and 23.99 for the calories. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe and look me up on Instagram. I'm there every single day, very active, and we can chat as much as you want.